We began on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. with just days before the August recess and less than 100 days before the midterm elections. Senate Democrats are rushing to pass several key bills this week. With razor thin margins in both houses, they know this might be their last and best chance to advance President Biden's agenda. NBC's Chris Pallone has more from Capitol Hill. Senate Democrats hoping to score some political wins before facing their constituents this summer and voters in November. The top priority, a $700 billion spending plan with money to fight climate change and lower health care prices and a new minimum tax on corporations. Republicans united in opposition. And Democrats want to drop an anvil, an anvil on our economy at the worst possible time. But West Virginia Democrat Joe Manchin says the bill features many things Republicans used to be in favor of. They're all looking at trying to find a discredit, and they can't because there's nothing to discredit. As Vice President Kamala Harris announces a billion dollars to help cities and states prepare for the effects of a warming planet. The president and I also have a duty to act not only after disaster strikes, but before disaster strikes. Democrats say wildfires in California and floods in Kentucky emphasize the urgency to pass new climate change fighting policies. Their focus is now on Arizona Democrat Kirsten Sinema, who has not said whether she supports the bill. You're in a 50-50 Senate. Um, you need every single vote. And, uh, you know, those of us who care about this bill um, will be making the case to Senator Sinema that it's uh, good for the country and good for Arizona. Sitting out here because we're not leaving. Senate Democrats also hope to pass the PACT Act, which would extend health benefits to military veterans injured by toxic burn pits in Iraq and Afghanistan. This is the lowest hanging fruit of a functioning society. Comedian and activist John Stewart again today blasting Republicans who changed their votes on the bill to defeat it last week. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Washington. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn tested positive for COVID, giving Democrats a little breathing room in the evenly divided Senate. But given CDC guidelines, Cornyn might be able to return to the Senate by this weekend. That's when we can expect lawmakers to vote on the Democrats' climate and tax bill.